Hello, I'm John Cooling, and I'm thrilled to be here with all of you at the Samsung Developer Conference. At Dolby, our mission is to bring transformative experiences to the world across all devices and entertainment categories. We partner with the world's best companies to do this and are honored to work with Samsung, an industry pioneer. Together, we are bringing breakthrough technologies to creators and superpowering the content they create. Movies, TV, music, and of course, games, which is why we're all here today. Samsung and Dolby both believe that gamers deserve the best gameplay experience. And players have come to expect that premium experience, regardless of how, where, or what they choose to play. So the experts at Samsung and Dolby got to work, building tools and device capabilities to bring your work to life like never before. It's my pleasure to introduce Matthew Reyes to show you how developers are building the spectacular gaming experience of Dolby Atmos Immersive Audio for Samsung Galaxy devices. Thanks, John, and hi, everyone. I'm Matthew Reyes, and for the past three years, I've been working closely with Samsung to reimagine how mobile games are created and experienced. With Dolby Atmos, players experience precisely placed game sounds all around them, transforming games made for the small screen into immersive 3D experiences. Players get crystal clear audio and a greater sense of space and placement, allowing for deeper connection with virtual worlds, characters, and communities. And it's easy to activate. From the system drop-down menu, you will find the Dolby Atmos feature button. Once you long press this button, you will see all of the benefits that Dolby can bring to media on supported Samsung Galaxy devices. Here, you can control different options based on your personal listening preferences. Voice mode will apply a dialogue enhancement to make voices loud and clearer. Music mode will add a richer, fuller, and more balanced experience when listening to your favorite music application. Movie mode will deliver the best possible audio for films, shows, and videos that are mixed in Atmos. And auto mode will find the best setting for any audio type that you choose to experience. For gaming, you will find this setting back in the main menu where you can turn on Dolby Atmos for gaming with this slider here. Playing in Dolby Atmos, gamers feel sounds coming not only from left and right, but also from behind, in front, and from above, truly from all around. The subtle sounds previously missed are brought to life, allowing players to feel every part of the action, whether listening directly to Samsung Galaxy device speakers or with wearables like Galaxy Buds, Dolby Atmos is game-changing. So let's talk about how you can get in on the action. We have developed a set of plugins for the most popular gaming middleware, including Audio Kinetics Wise. Our free plugins enable you to leverage the technology on Samsung Galaxy devices. By allowing you to play sound effects in your game's 3D environment, our plugins expand your creative choices and allow a better mix of immersive game audio objects and audio beds, ultimately rendering a more purposeful and impactful experience for all game genres. In this tech talk, you will see this in action. We're excited to share stories and know-how from some of the world's experts in game audio. First, we'll hear from Audio Kinetic. Then, we'll hear from our partners at Moon Labs in India and hear their perspective on how Dolby Atmos enhanced the development of their 3D sports game, Epic Cricket. And lastly, We'll close with an overview of the Dolby Atmos plugin interface so you can leave this session understanding how to build spectacular games for Samsung Galaxy devices. Without further ado, let's hear from the leaders of Audio Kinetic and how Dolby Atmos is layering into developer workflows to deliver industry leading player experiences. Over the years, Dolby always brought amazing quality in terms of the delivery format. And it's really important for us at Audio Kinetic that partnership to help to bring a higher level of spatial audio to the industry. I think that that collaboration will allow us to really break the boundaries and, and, and push forward and to be able to deliver that format through mobiles. Audio Kinetic and Dolby are bringing to game developers a standardized way to produce and deliver audio that is engaging for the players and that will play great on any Atmos-enabled device. 
Spatial audio has a lot to offer to game developers. And, and spatial audio and WISE is a vast topic in itself. It goes from simple things like uh, distance attenuation or late reverberation to much more intricate systems like sound propagation through rooms and portals, for example, or audio diffraction when audio bends around objects, or occlusion, or using the geometry in the environment to generate dynamic early reflection. So there's a lot of tools to play with. And what is important for us is not to deliver reality. What's important for us is that the sound designers and the team working in a game can take all these tools and create a reality that fits their game, be it a sci-fi game or fantasy game or maybe a history girl game. What is interesting is not reality. What is interesting is a reality that fits the purpose of the game, its narrative, its gameplay. So for game developers that want to leverage Dolby Atmos with WISE, the very first thing to do is to understand how object-based pipeline works in WISE. And, and this is relatively easy um, because there are three main elements to, uh, to master. So the first one is the main mix. And the main mix is for all the sounds, all the 3D sounds, all the sounds that need to be spatialized goes to the main mix. And these sounds are basically mixed into a 714 uh, stream. And then there's the pass-through mix. And the pass-through mix is for sounds that where you don't want any spatialization. So typically, that will be for music, when you just want the music to be played as the, it's been mixed by the artist. And finally, for the sounds that need the most spatial precision, so probably sounds that will help you as a gamer to perform better, these sounds, you have them as objects. So in the end, the main mix the pass-through sounds and all the objects are sent to the Dolby Atmos technology. And Dolby knows how to take these three elements and mix that into a binaural stream that is sent to the device. So game developers that are adding spatial audio to their game are immediately enhancing the suspension of disbelief. They're instantly enhancing that sense of presence that they deliver to the player. And this makes for longer a gameplay session for them because it's just so great to be in this environment. And this is not that difficult to achieve when you're using WISE and you're using Dolby Atmos. Um, you get to offer something that is quite engaging for your audience. Our role is actually to be able to empower uh, the audio creator that will allow them to unleash uh, the storytelling potential. Samsung is known as a very innovative company uh, in the industry. And uh, for us and Dolby uh, to work all together on bringing uh, uh, the Dolby Atmos format uh, to, uh, to the Galaxy, I think it's a really interesting partnership. It will allow the entire industry to elevate the gamer experience. Thanks to Simon and Martin for sharing their perspectives. I'm excited to bring the future of mobile game audio to life with them and their team. Let's pivot to the developer perspective. Dolby Atmos is being used by trailblazing developers today to bring revolutionary mobile game experiences to players across the globe. We have one of those developers here with us today. Please welcome our partners from the developer behind Epic Cricket. Epic Cricket is a realistic simulation game that thrives on a community of cricket fans and uh, who have been with us uh, for years. And, and the only reason they have followed us and, and been part of the, our community is because of the realistic simulation we have been able to bring to them. We all know that uh, games are all about visuals and, and the gameplay, but what most people don't realize is how much role audio plays in the game. And Dolby Atmos has enabled us to create a experience for our gamers that allows them to play the game as if they are in the middle of the pitch, surrounded by you know cheering crowd as they play the game, they are able to feel the same experience that, that somebody playing in the middle of a stadium will uh, experience. Our gamers are very demanding. Our gamers want everything to be like a real world sport of cricket is. Right from the time you enter the stadium to the time you play the first shot until the time the last ball is bowled, they want everything to be lifelike. And clearly sound plays a very big role in that experience. And hence, when we introduced Dolby Atmos, we realized that now we have come very close to a lifelike experience. 
Talbi Atmos has been a great partner. They have helped us with technology integration and they have obviously helped us improve the experience overall by giving inputs on the sound engineering side of things as well. We have actually bet the farm on Samsung Galaxy phones early on in our production when we started a few years back. And we knew they are one of the best hardware providers of phones in the world. With that in mind, when we integrated Dolby Atmos and played it back on Samsung Galaxy phones, which was Dolby Atmos enabled versus phones which are not Dolby Atmos enabled, the difference is there for everyone to hear. And you can actually feel as if you are sitting in a stadium as opposed to playing the game on a phone. The difference is that big. So we are looking forward to the experience that gamers will get on Samsung Galaxy phones with our game and with Dolby Atmos together. So the most important feature for us was the ability to precisely locate the sound and, and define the direction of the sound. Epic Cricket being a cricket simulation game, the whole experience has to be like playing game in a stadium. And this feature allowed us to manipulate the sound and, and allow players to experience sound coming from the direction where they're hitting the shot. So you could actually feel like the stand has lit up because of the shot that you've played. You know, while the basic principles of games haven't changed, the way we produce games, but the technology has moved. And Galaxy devices, for instance, you know, they've been able to provide Atmos, uh, which en has enabled us to build games with superior audio experience, where you can sense the player's emotions in the middle of the field. You are basically taken right into the middle of the action. This is where, you know, devices such as Samsung Galaxy, which have Dolby Atmos, really shine because they're able to produce crystal clear sounds, allowing players to react and, and experience the game in, in a way which has never been done before. Now that we've heard the developer perspective, let's get technical. I'm going to share a little about how the mobile game ecosystem powering these experiences works. First, Dolby and Samsung recognize that device capability is key. So we work together to ensure spectacular audio playback regardless of how the gamer is listening by including two types of Dolby Atmos virtualizers. Players can experience Dolby Atmos via the speakers built in to the device in their hands or via wearables and headphones like the Galaxy Buds. As a developer, you don't have to worry about the player's choice of equipment the Galaxy mobile device detects the playback method and produces the best Dolby Atmos experience possible. Second, we needed to enable creators like you. So we built Dolby Atmos plugins, allowing developers to harness these device capabilities for their games. These plugins enable you to create two sets of audio buses, a stereo bus for those sounds you don't wish to spatialize, and a new Dolby Atmos bus that sends 3D positional audio data to the appropriate Dolby Virtualizer. In this next video, we will show you exactly how this is done using AudioConnect's WISE middleware interface. Some things to pay attention to, how to set up the different audio bus structures, how to define different game audio objects, and the different effects you can apply to each of these buses. Here, we show how to use our plugin for AudioKinetics WISE. We'll start with this window inside of a WISE project. The first thing we must do is create two audio buses. The first bus should be a typical stereo bus. Go to settings and choose 2.0 mode, and then add our Dolby Stereo Render plugin under effects. The function of this plugin is to pass regular stereo sound to the mobile device. Now, this upper bus, this is important as it is the primary bus for Dolby Atmos mobile audio. Since Atmos has high channels, we must select 714 mode from this drop down menu. Then we go inside this bus's settings, and under the effects tab, we must add in the plugin called Dolby Atmos Renderer. This is the plugin that is required to transmit your 3D and other immersive sound effects to the Dolby Atmos enabled mobile device so our technology can render the spatial audio. Moving on, the main stereo bus is the location normally used for making stereo sound. For example, 
we can use this to make stereo user interface sounds, including binaural recordings or add stereo music tracks. You can even create some traditional sound effects like environmental ambiences. For the Dolby Atmos Enhanced bus, you normally will attach a 714 sub bus. This main bus is used for limiting, volume adjustment, and monitoring the indicators. All of these functions are done on this main bus. Again, simply choose 714 mode for this one, and this will let you monitor the level indicators in the channel metering area. So what kind of assets can you add to the 714 Atmos bus? Here, we've color-coded them. For example, these 3D objects with dark red color, like this helicopter sound, was originally a monaural sound effect. You should continue to keep point source sounds like these in mono. The purpose for keeping them in mono is to cleanly render directionality of the sound effect. You can also use this for sounds of your game's character when it defeats enemies, or vice versa. This is still mainly based on traditional monaural or stereo assets. For these assets, because they were in the Atmos bus, you can see an emitter control under the positioning tab, showing that it is in fact a point source. Besides those point sources, the plugin enables you to design some more immersive multi-channel sound effects. For example, this pre-mixed 714 audio source in pink. It can be for environmental sounds, character skill effects or storylines, whatever you like. You can pre-mix them into a 714 audio file. Here, there are two types. The bottom is an interleaved audio source. These could be made by Avid Pro Tools with Dolby Atmos Production Suite, or Innuendo, or Reaper, whatever your favorite tool is to build a 714 audio track. If you want to add an interleaved source, pay close attention and choose the required audio channel order as shown here. These steps will allow you to create a 3D sound field with one multi-track audio source. Our plugin also allows you more control by splitting these 714 channels into multiple mono tracks. We can even add stereo assets into WISE to enable more detailed control. For example, here are the branches for sound effects from a Dolby Cinema demo track. Doing it this way allows you to manually control 3D positioning with WISE's 3D Position Editor, where you can adjust the X, Y, and Z axes. If you wish, you can even draw lines with WISE's Position Editor. We can also add coordinate points. For example, the coordinate for this point is 50, 50, 100. So, when the Z axis reaches 100, the sound will project from directly overhead. Remember, all the point sound assets, both mono and stereo, and all the multi-channel tracks we've made to achieve an immersive sound field should be added to this 3D main bus with the Dolby Atmos plugin configured to 714. As for music, of course we can design some parts to be 3D music and some parts in 2D. All of these kinds of functions are possible. Intuitive, right? Now that we have seen and heard how mobile games are superpowered by Dolby Atmos, we want you to know that Dolby is actively supporting mobile game developers in a variety of ways. We offer support and educational material along with access to our plugins all year long, free of charge, on our developer website. Visit us at games.dolby.com sdc. While you're there, make sure to sign up for our mailing list so you hear about upcoming game jams too. Dolby and our partners at Playcrafting have created the Step Up Your Sound game jams for Samsung developers like you to meet and partner in creating Dolby Atmos-enabled games for Samsung Galaxy devices. Last, but certainly not least, we're excited to share that in support of the Samsung Developer Conference, we will host open office hours with Dolby game audio experts for all attendees. Come meet the developer relations team, ask your pressing questions, share your project with us, or just stop by to say hi. Simply scan the QR code or visit the site on your screen to get started. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing and hearing what you create.